Hello and welcome to this edition of Fi TV. I'm your host, Brad Swanson. We are coming to you from what is the first day of the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. Tomorrow they're going to kick off. The governor is going to give the speech. The speaker is going to give the speech. The president is going to give the speech. And then we'll be off to the races. Today we are joined by Christina Honchowski from South Florida. Representative, thanks and welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Oh, it's great to have you on, as always. All right, so talk to us. What, what couple of things are you going to be working on this session? Um, two of the bills that I'm working on are both mental health related. As we've seen through COVID, mental health has become more and more of a crisis in our state. And so mental health will be my focus, especially on these two bills. One okay. of them is um, mental health for students. So students that are receiving behavioral health services through the schools, this bill would require that their caregivers, that their families are informed also of what services are available to them in the community. So okay. it's not just about treating the child, but actually so it's, the whole it's family. it's the broader continuum of care that's available. Correct. Well, that's Correct. Important. Yeah, right. I, I think so. I know, that's that's great. why well, I filed a, the bill. What a good bill to be working on. Okay, so you said you've got two mental health bills. What's yeah. the other one? So the second one is the SIPACT, and this is a compact where your mental health professional can also work in other compact states. So it's having Florida join as a compact state. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is when I think about high school students and they're going off to college, mm -hmm. you would want to them to continue with their trusted mental health provider. Right. And this way they'd be able to do that if they go to a college in so a compact state. So they don't miss state. a beat if they go to exactly. another state. It's about having that continuity of care. It takes a while to find that mental health professional that you feel comfortable with. And once you've established that relationship, right. you want them to be able to keep that when they go off to college. Well, those sound like two really good ideas and it's you, you should have smooth sailing, right? Um, it is legislative session, so in Tallahassee, uh, I guess you have to expect the unexpected. Uh, you never know what will happen, but I've been working the bills, and so far I've received really positive uh, reactions to it. So I'm hoping that they will do well. Well, that's great. Well, make sure you stay in touch with us on Fi TV and keep us posted on how those bills are going, would you? I absolutely will. All right, great. Thanks for coming on. Thanks we for having me. It. Appreciate it. it. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fi TV. Make sure you hit us up for more great interviews like this one. And for now, thanks for tuning in.